beautiful morning here in Jersey. It snowed a lot last night. The dogs had so much fun outside. Daddy's turn to clean up the walkway and the cars. The sun's coming out though, it's beautiful. We're gonna have some fun with the dogs and we'll do some marketing talk today. How to market your breeding business. I'm an entrepreneur, so it just kind of comes naturally to me. I love marketing and um, getting to know people and especially this business, like the breeding business. I'm just excited to share it with everybody. So let's get started. Here comes Dutchie. Dutch. Hey girl. <laughs> hey pretty. Hey girl. You had your breakfast. So because of the bloat, the whole bloat thing with Great Danes, and if you don't know, you should definitely Google it. I kind of have her settled down. I have a crate, so I crate trained her, but pretty much only just so like before and after she eats. Um, so she kind of settles down a little bit and then we let her run. So she was out here yesterday with our other dog and they had a great time. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's her first snowfall with us because we only got her recently, so. And um, and she absolutely loves it. They have the zoomies and the whole thing. This is our backyard. Pretty big considering where we are. Northern New Jersey, about a half hour from Manhattan. So this is like pretty country, this area. We're in a lake community. The lake's like right down the block. So it's, it's a beautiful area. This is my barn that I had built that I absolutely love. One day I think I may connect, maybe put like some kennel in here, like some fencing and have it connect so they could go indoors. So, you know, during the day they kind of have somewhere to go hang out inside, put the water in there. Cause you know, it gets hot in the summer and cold in the winter. So it'd be nice for like an outdoor area for the day. We'll see. We'll see Dutchie. Dutchie, show me your half blue eye. Come here. Come here, girl. Come here, show me your half blue eye. Mwah. Okay. So this video is gonna be... All right, let me set this up. I'm not sure where to set this up. Hmm. How about here? I'm gonna try my best. I'm pretty messy out here. But I want to talk about marketing and that's like kind of right up my alley because you know dogs are new to me but business is not so I definitely want to share and I think this will help a lot of people I'm just gonna just give me a moment I'm not the greatest video person either but you know what I kind of decided in the new year which was just the other day 2024 that I'm just gonna do it anyway so like it's not going to be perfect but you know what i just want to share this content because it's really really important to me um you know like i say the name of our business is brifford great danes named after my first great dane ever um her brother a young male that you know he passed at a young age and really stirred something up, opened up my heart, and um, and it's a big reason why I'm doing this here. And I'm so thankful that I was able to get her, Dutchie, his sister, um, you know, sentimental connection to him, and she's gonna be my first breeding. So um, anyway, I wanna talk about like the marketing. So I own a business and I have to market and I always kind of learn through my father, he owned businesses. And so marketing is super important, especially when you're selling puppies, right? Or when you're like, you want to, you want people to find out about your brand, right? So, you know, I'm joining all the sites. So obviously she's not even in her heat yet, but I'm just kind of getting ahead of it because first of all, I enjoy it. It's like fun for me. You know, I do marketing for my own business, but I don't get that heartfelt that true it's not really my true intention like my true heart journey so this is so this feels good it's exciting 
I don't know if you can see my jacket, Brifford Great Danes. So here's the marketing, here's part of my marketing strategy. Like uh, I was excited to get a jacket made. I just ordered a hat, you know, like the logo. And you know, where do you do this? You could go on fiverr.com. You could Google that and they'll make you up a logo for like 20 bucks, it's cheap. And you know, you could throw your business name on there. It just kind of feels good to promote your business, right? Um, I have a hat coming, I have business cards that I always carry. And this is kind of, you know, this is really big. So like, hopefully you can see that. I have no idea, but hopefully. Um, has my number and everything. So like for me, we want to do a, a few things, right? So like, I want to do therapy dog work. Um, I've trained in the past with another dog that I had for that. So therapy dogs is something like really close to my heart. You know, again, working with people. So for me, this whole process is like, you know, 50% dogs, 50% people. This is why I'm talking to you because I like interacting with the community, talking to people. Don't mind my chickens. The, the girls are laying eggs, I guess. But so like for me, I put therapy dog services, um, faith-based breeding. So talking a little bit about my breeding and, you know, I do a lot of walking around the lake and you kind of have to, it's hard to be an introvert. Like, like I'm a little bit introverted. Like, you know, I don't want to bother people, but I'm trying to challenge myself and just like every person I see with a dog, haven't done it yet, but I want to do this. Just give them a card. This is why I keep a stack of business cards in my pocket. Cause my intention was to like any person I see with a dog, because a person with a dog knows another person with a dog or they go to the dog park or they go to their, you know, their vet and like, Hey, somebody, you know, the other day I was in tractor supply and a lady, I had Dutch's with me and a lady was petting the dog. She's like, you know what? I always wanted a great Dane. And I'm like, wow, like, look at the opportunity. I had the card in my pocket and I didn't give it to her at first, but then I seen her online and I had to like overcome that fear of like letting people, it's okay to let people know what you do. Like this is like, get excited, right? Like we love the breed. We love, um, we want to share the, the love of the breed. We want somebody else to experience that. So I, um, I went up to her and I said, you know what? Here's my business card. And she's like, and I'm like, I'm probably going to have a litter like in the summer 2024. And I said, you know, reach out to me. And she goes, like, how much are they? Like, she was like, she was like worried about the price. And I said, you know what? We'll work it out. Cause like this first litter, this is not, this is not really about money for me. This is like the experience that I'm going through. It's a growing experience for me. It's a learning experience and also for my family. Um, so yeah, like you just want to like let people know. So when you're walking, you know, get business cards. They were like 40 bucks and they designed it for me on eBay. All right. So, and you can put whatever you want. You know, you could just put your Facebook page. Like you could, uh, you know, um, make a Facebook group like I did. You guys could join me there. Burford Great Danes. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, like because of my business background, like I went all in on this. So you could, you're welcome to follow me there. It'd be great to have you join me. Um, but yeah, like let people know, right? When you go to the vet, let them know. Oh, track the supply. Dutch, you running. Track the supply had a board. So going old school is okay too. A flyer, you know. Um, so I tacked a bunch of business cards onto the board and a lot of like supermarkets have that. And it's, you know, it's not even about exactly selling puppies, but it's like like-minded people. Um, recently, there was a, a get together that I seen in a Great Dane group for uh, Great Dane, people that have Great Danes, they did a meetup in Hoboken. There were like 20 dogs there. I couldn't believe how many people were there. It was like awesome. Well, I went there, I didn't even have Dutchie yet. This is um, a little while after we lost our first Great Dane, but I just took my family and just went. Like I just wanted to be around more Great Danes and kind of get to know people. So um, yeah, so that's what marketing is all about. You know, I even think, so like, what am I gonna do? I'm joining all the sites and you could Google them. There's just a bunch. I'm not gonna even get into naming them. You know, you could go to any Great Dane group on Facebook, which I highly recommend, um, great learning stuff. But you could go to any group and um, and ask, hey, what, what, you know, what do you, like a breeding group, where do you sell your puppies? Or 
So there's a bunch of those online. Word of mouth, handing out your cards, building your business, get yourself a hat, get yourself a jacket, you know, kind of, for me, it feels good. Like I super enjoy it, you know, at church, you know, again, because I'm, I'm going to also be doing like therapy dog work. I'm kind of like um, immersing myself in all different aspects of, of networking with people. But, you know, it all leads to selling the puppies when you do have them. And a lot of breeders have, you know, waiting lists and like, that's awesome. So like you get these people that will follow you on your website and, and then they'll join your waiting list. They'll put a deposit down. So... You know, a lot of people, a lot of times, why do people buy things? They buy it because they they connect with the company or the person that's selling the merchandise or the puppy or... Um, so it's like, there's puppies everywhere. Why do they want to purchase one from you, right? It's like, what's the connection? What's the... We buy it off of emotion, right? Why does somebody buy like a Louis Vuitton bag where you could buy the same bag for like 50 bucks material wise like what's it made out of right it's like you know plastic you know vinyl but like somebody associates the brand and, and they make them feel good there's a heart connection or whatever it is so this is why it's just good to um to put yourself out there like i'm doing right now so um what else am i gonna say about marketing Probably, you know, again, joining great dating groups or being active on Instagram and in the groups and um, again, putting yourself out there and just commenting with people, adding your ideas to a comment or to a post, um, liking, people's, liking people's stuff, them liking your, you know, you kind of, you kind of start um, mixing in this, in this, um, in this group, in the, in these, you know, it's like our tribe, right? You know, it, you could go to any dog breed and people love that breed. That's like, that's just their breed. And that's, look, you know, everybody has their own thing. I've had many breeds in my life and mixed breeds and, and I have uh, adopted. I have two rescues. I have two other rescues. Um, but pure breed wise, the Great Dane just moved my heart and, uh, and, um, and it's just nice to be around like-minded people and and learning from the breeders and stuff. So, so that's my um, my thing on marketing. There's going to be a lot more, I'm sure. Um, hopefully, I'm even in focus here. Me and Dutch are going to run around a little bit, enjoy the yard, go see if the um, the chickens laid some eggs. Luckily, my children have been eating the eggs, so it's really cool. Um, really beautiful out there. Right, Dutchy girl? It's hard to even get her in camera because she's so Velcro, like she just wants to be right by me. So, come on, Dutchy. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Yeah, baby girl. So, it's hard to even get her in camera all the time because she's like totally, totally Velcro. And if you, you might see her in some videos like where her tail between her legs a little bit, she's just, she's just shy, you know? Again, we just got her recently and she will be three in like a month. So, you know, she's young, but she's lived life, I, I, you know, somewhere else. So, um, they were good people, but I don't think she was exactly around around people too much. It might have been more of a, I'm not sure. I don't want to say, like, barn, but I know they had a farm and they had horses. And so she was kind of, I guess, to herself a lot. And that's how she kind of, she's a very quiet calm spirit and i love that about her so all right thanks for checking in subscribe like give me some comments let me know what you think you know what could you add to this marketing i again i'm learning i'm just using my other businesses and you know businesses that i've dealt with over the years it's almost the same premise except for me this is more of a heart move so let me know what you think join me on all the social media stuff and and let's talk god bless